right, guys, 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 pull cool camera, pull right, camera. Right here, keep commenting. Any questions? I can't, you have to speak loud. RK Jr. said that you promised him to control the public health agency if you were to win. Is that true? Is that accurate? Well, we'll work with him, and he's a very talented guy. He wants women's health, he wants health for people. And we're going to work with him. He's a very, very talented guy. He's a friend of mine. Well, you know that he was not the Democrats going to have I think the Democrats have done a very poor job. We're leading in every in every state. Uh, we're leading big. And I think that the comment made by really both of them, because there are really two of them, uh, about being garbage, maybe 250 million people, uh, they shouldn't be talking. That's like deplorable for Hillary. This is the deplorable for Hillary. And uh, I think this is worse, actually. For Joe Biden to make that statement, it's really a disgrace. Do you know that he said the other day, he said the other day that the military could be used, that the military or the National Guard could be used on election day if necessary. Can you explain what you mean by that in the details? I don't think they'll have to be used. I think we're going to have a big victory. And I think 250 million people in this country are going to be very happy because we're going to bring the country back. We're a nation in decline, very, very serious decline. And we're going to bring our country back. Did you know that Elon Musk was in close contact with President Putin? Did you know about I, this? Did you know about Elon Musk at all? Like close communication? No, I don't know. Elon, Elon is a great guy. He's one of our geniuses, and we have to protect our geniuses. We have to take care of our Mr. geniuses. President, there's a report there that you many of them. Yes, you owe the people in Puerto Rico an apology for what the media said. No, I love Puerto Rico, and Puerto Rico loves me. I don't know. I don't know anything about a comedian. I just. I love Puerto Rico. Nobody's done more for Puerto Rico than me. I, I took care of them when they had the big hurricanes. And nobody nobody gets along better with Puerto Rico and the Puerto Rican people, people than me. They love me and I love them. Go ahead. Good. What do I want? I don't know anything about the comedian. I don't know who he is. I've never seen him. Uh, I heard he made a statement, but it was just the statement that he made. He's a comedian. What can I tell you? I know nothing about him. I don't know why he's there. You put comedians up, and uh, I guess he went on earlier in the show. I don't know who he is. Did he's you make a joke with you? Is Steve Bannon going to campaign with you now that he's out of prison? I don't know, but I think he's a terrific guy. I think he was treated very unfairly. Mr. President, you've been talking about Democrats cheating. Um, could you imagine any circumstances under which you would, you would be defeated but not say that the election was stolen? If it was, uh, if it was a corrupt election, that could happen. But so far, we're doing pretty well. We, uh, they found a lot of smaller things in Pennsylvania, as you know, and I think they've been corrupted and, uh, and taken care of. They were, they were corrupt. They were corrupted, and, uh, but I think it's been taken care of. On that subject, yeah, you, you, called, you, called, for, you called for law enforcement to investigate. Uh, I was going to say, um, do you anticipate to declare victory on election night? I hope that we're going to declare a victory. I mean, they spend all that money on machines. Paper ballots cost you 8% of what a machine costs, 8%. And uh, it's encrypted paper, it's watermarked paper, it's very secure. Uh, your elections would be over at 10 o'clock, and that's when the you could announce something and there would be no question. And we're not talking about more money, we're talking about a tiny fraction of the money. Uh, you want paper, ideally, you want one day voting, and I think it's just very important. You have to have the country and you have to have voter ID and you and you have a great election. And you're talking about 8% of the cost. Uh, it's like very sad when you get machines, you pay all that money and they talk about three days later. I think we're going to have a big enough victory to uh, maybe have it that night. You should always have it, Bill. You know, every night, if you look at France, 38 million votes. At 10 o'clock in the evening, it was over. All paper ballots, all voter ID, one day voting, and it was over. How do you like my garbage truck? This truck is in honor of Kamala and Joe Biden. President Trump, you, you, uh, you asked for law enforcement investigate in Pennsylvania. If they find no evidence of cheating, will you accept the result if you lose? Well, I guess they had uh, quite a few ballots, 2,600 ballots where the same person was signing. Right. But if they find no evidence of cheating,
cheating, will you accept the results? Of Pennsylvania, sure. Uh -huh. Oh, if they find no evidence of cheating anywhere, I'll accept the results. I hope that's going to be the case. Win, lose, or draw, I hope that's going to be the case. Sir, in Watts County. Now listen, I have to do something. Because Brett Favre is a great guy. He just endorsed me. And he's very important at this moment. I mean, you know, he's got... Uh, He's got a little problem for himself, and I thought it was very brave that he came out, and I want to go over and see Brett Favre. We're all going together, I assume. You're going over. I'm going to make a speech. We're going to then try and beat the weather out because we have some bad weather coming in. But I just wanted to let you know that 250 million people, that's what I think the real number is for making America great again. 250 million, the real number. They don't think in terms of garbage, okay? They don't use terms like that, and it's a shame. And Joe Biden should be ashamed of himself if he knows what he's even doing. And she should be ashamed because she shouldn't let him do it. She's the vice president, but I assume she's acting as the president. She should never have let that happen. I hope you enjoyed this garbage truck. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Brad.